Hey y'all. So today we're going to be taking a look at your shamanic messages from your guides. But before we get into that, I want to say a big thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everyone who took my free Claire quiz. I've been hearing from you guys about what results you got. And it's really, really exciting and thrilling to, to read what everyone got and to see how, how much fun you guys had and what you learned about yourselves and your own intuitive abilities in taking the quiz. So thank you so much. If you have not had a chance to do that yet, the link is in the description box below. If you would like to see what your strongest intuitive abilities are and how to work with them and develop them, as well as learn about what mine are and how I use them here in my readings, the free quiz is sent to your email if you just click on that link in the description box below. And again, thank you guys to everyone who took the quiz. Now let's go ahead and see what your shamanic messages from your guides are. Hey Libras, we're taking a look at your shamanic messages from your guides here. So where you are currently is the owl. Woo, hoot, hoot, such a beautiful energy here. Sorry, I had to do it. <laughs> a beautiful energy. You know, the owl, air energy, you know, if you know me at all, that when you get an animal that is of your home element is always very auspicious. And look at this, you got two because you got the bat as your advice. Okay, so the owl. This is very much about being connected to your intuition and seeing yourself and others clearly, which also kind of links it into the Ten of Cups in a way, because, you know, when we see ourselves and others clearly, right, when we're not being affected or our vision isn't being shrouded by ego or past pain or our own expectations or our own biases, then we have access to that Ten of Cups, pure emotional bliss and joy, right? So this is the energy you're currently in and I'm here for it. You know, I also like this aspect of it too with the owl where it's, yes, it is seeing ourselves and others clearly, but you're also directly linked in to your clairvoyance, which is your clear seeing in general in terms of that intuitive ability being at the forefront. So you could be having, you know, the prophetic dreams, intuitive insights, visions. I'm, I'm seeing like little flashes of clairvoyant visions come through for you. Don't ignore those. <laughs> Don't ignore those. They, they're there for a reason. You can trust those, right? You know, the bat is your advice. Again, like we said, another air energy, but the bat equates to the death key in the tarot, which is brilliant as your advice because it says, allow things that want to die to die and for something new to take its place, right? This is about transformation. This is about face your shadows and transform. This is about knowing that the only constant is change and that you are being asked to go about something in a different way or to look at the aspects of yourself that get you some recycling, right? Recycle those aspects of yourself that are coming up for that and or your given circumstance, but you're being asked to adopt change in some way. And it's, and it's going to be for not just the greater good because everyone around you is going to benefit from the positive changes that you make, but for your own personal development and balance, right? Interesting too, is that owl is also equated to the moon as well. So it's, it's a theme for you, right? So your oracle, oh, so beautiful. Alpha dragon. Hello, Libra with your alpha dragon. Harnesses the, di the divine masculine power of creation. And it says, destroy the old. Hello. Visualize your dream. Hello. Help to manifest a new world. This so beautifully encapsulates what we're seeing here with the owl and the bat. Destroy the old. Visual visualize your dream. Help to manifest a new world world. It's really beautiful. You know, the fact that like, do you see how the third eye is like lit up there? Can you see that in the dragon? We're talking about clairvoyance and seeing things well. You know what I'm hearing with this? Destroy the old, visualize your dream, help to manifest a new world. Any of you that are in the practice or could benefit from the practice, this could be the bat energy too, of journaling, um, dream journaling, but also just like automatic writing and journaling and even like mapping out for yourself what is and what is not working in your current circumstances, and then approaching those answers that come and the questions with curiosity. Leave out any judgment, leave out any pre preconceived notions, leave out any fear, curiosity. What is working in my current experiences? What is not working in my current experiences? And that curiosity is strong when you're really truly able to, be embo to embody it. When you're curious, you're open. 
When you're afraid, you're closed. When you're afraid of the answers, you're closed. And you're not gonna have full access like the owl here to all of the information available to you. So asking those questions through curiosity and openness is going to elicit some very helpful and transformative and beneficial insights and answers for you so that you can upgrade, so you can manifest a new world, so that you know what action to take, right? And then you're divinely guided and supported in that, right? And trust me, when you do it this way, when you do it from a place of this owl energy and, and journaling and really enacting that third eye aspect of it with the clear seeing, I'm telling you, you're, you're going to have this guidance and you're not going to second guess it. And think about the times in your life where that has, has been the case for you, when you've simply known a truth and you don't know how you knew it, you just knew it, right? Or the things that you, you felt called to do where you didn't need to ask anyone else's opinion about it. Think about the times when you needed to ask, you know, your mama, your daddy, your grandma, your neighbor, your third cousin for advice on something. And then the times when you're like, I don't need anybody's advice because I know what I know. And you are being asked to, to, to align yourself to the parts of you that are, you know, beckoning from that place of, you know, I know what I know. <laughs> it's going to lead you forward and, you know, and really transform your circumstances for the better, which is really beautiful, Libra. Really, really beautiful. So with that being said, these are your shamanic messages. I so hope that they helped and resonate. If so, please let me know in the comments below. I love reading your comments. I so hope that this finds you well whenever and however you are seeing this. Please like, share and subscribe. I would so appreciate that. And with that being said, just thank you. Thank you so, so much for being here. And most of all, and as always, thank you for being you and be well until next time.